guys, my name is Rage and we're back today with another Red Star Orb opening video. As you can see, Maria Hill officially is now dropping into battle, being Marvel Strike Force's newest character to unlock as part of the Red Star Orbs. So as you can see, she's going to bring on board high health. As you can see, uh, she's going to focus on healing allies and summoning shield troopers very similar to Nick Fury. As well, her passive highlight is really going to be key on keeping her her allies actually healed up during in raids. As you can see, they get increased resistance as well as that always triggering that heal on the most injured. So that's going to be really nice to dive into details there. Um, that being said, you guys, I always like to remind you all, you know, just because you see her picture there, you want to always make sure that it does also show that it increased to 15% in the extra eye here. So by hitting the eye for additional details, you can go see the Red Star promotions. I like to scroll to the very bottom just because that is the most common, guys. And then as you keep going, you can see that Maria Hill does in fact have the increased 15%. So that for us is to go ahead and actually being able to know that it's in effect and we can go ahead and start opening some orbs. And at this point, it is RNG. So consistent with my other videos, you guys, you see we've saved up quite a bit. Um, I am in hoarding mode now just because, you know, um, the last legendary being uh, Adam Warlock, I did utilize most of my red star orbs. We're going to budget about 5 to 10 today, depending on what we get. But we always like to aim for either a 2 red or a 3 red. So that's going to be the game plan as per usual. So here we go. Uh, unfortunately, a duplicate there, Wolverine. So getting, oh, wow, nice. Okay, so we did get the one red there. You know, not exactly what we wanted, but at least it's a start, right? And um, yeah, oh, wow, okay, not bad, not bad. Got, just got another one there. So that's the two red. Um, that was only three orbs, so you know what? Let's call, try a couple more, but if that's the case, uh, we haven't seen any blues, so that's the only downside. And the good news about this is that when we go ahead here, um, the duplicates do add up to the elite. So, I mean, at the end of the day, they do at least go somewhere. But it's unfortunate I've only got, gotten green, so that's too bad. Let's take here. And then, yeah, not even a single blue here, actually. We'll try one more here. Our first blue. Oh, unfortunately, not what I wanted. So I'm likely going to try on a few more throughout the week just to kind of spread out my luck. But it doesn't look like this is going to be the first draw here in terms of what I want. But at least we've got the two red, at least to be minimal. And then we can also try again later on. So not a big deal here, you guys. That being said, let's dive right in now to the review and just taking a look at her, her kit more closely as well as just seeing what the T4 recommendations would be potentially. So starting off here, just reading out her kit, close range support is her basic attack here. And you can see that she's going to attack the primary target for 80% damage. As well, she also has a 50% chance to actually apply deflect to the most injured non-summoned ally. In this case, if they are going to be a secret avenger, you can see that they're actually also going to gain regen. So that's kind of nice to know to have that synergy with the secret avengers. As well, if you were to T4 this ability, she's always going to apply Deflect as opposed to the 50% chance. So, um, in my opinion, you guys, if you're planning to use this team as the new raid team, especially for Doom Raids, I definitely think this is worth considering because essentially every time she does activate her basic attack, she's going to apply that Deflect to the most injured. So, gives them that little extra protection. Um, is it worth the T4? It really depends, honestly, at the end of the day, how much you're going to be using these Secret Avengers as part of that new raid team. Her special ability, Overwhelming Firepower. So in this case, this is the ability similar to Nick Fury where she's actually summoning. But um, you can see here, she's also going to be applying some buffs such as Offense Up, Defense Up, as well as Death Proof to the summoned troopers. And as you can see as well, she also does a little bit of damage. And there's also on top of that, a defense down on the primary target. If Sharon Carter is the ally, she's also going to gain additional focus, essentially allowing this ability to really stick. And you can see on top of that, it's unavoidable and cannot be blocked. So really to maximize this ability is having Sharon Carter. So that way she does get that extra focus to land the defense down. Um, and as you can see, as you level this ability, um, really the big notable key difference between the level 6 and level 7 is the fact that she's actually going to get one extra shield trooper totaling 3 as opposed to level 6 already having an increased damage in 2. So is this one worth the T4? Again, I think it's going to be back down to the question of whether or not you're actually utilizing this team as part of the new raid team. I think that extra trooper would be able to soak some damage, apply some extra damage. And keep in mind, they're also going to get offense up, defense up, and death proof. So, you know, pretty much troopers that are on steroids when we're summoning them. The extra one could be notable as well. That T4 extra 100% damage is quite significant as well. So this, for, the, for that reason, this special is worth, in my opinion, T4ing, especially if you're planning to use this team as part of a big uh, new meta for your raid team. Um, and then with her shield care package ultimate, essentially with this ability, she's clearing the negative from herself as well as all the Avenger and skill allies. So keep in mind here, this doesn't necessarily only apply to her secret Avengers team. It can actually work with the other Avenger and skill characters um, that are not classified as Avengers. 
Next, you can see that on top of that, she's gonna apply Deflect up to a maximum of five, as well as immunity to herself. And this is where the Secret Avenger allies get that benefit of extra immunity if they were on the team. And last but not least, you, she, they also additionally get a heal um, by 15% of her max health and a, a little bit of notable DPS that's being applied. Leveling off this ability, you can see here that there's also gonna be an increase to the amount number of deflects, um, only to the Secret Avengers, might I add. And then as well, the T4 here, the biggest thing for the T4 is really just clearing all negative conditions as opposed to the limited of only one uh, being on that level one. So, I mean, keep that in mind. If you were to T4 this, it that increased the damage as well as clearing all negatives. And again, to both Avengers and skill allies. So it doesn't specifically single out just the secret Avengers. Um, pretty much a steroid version of Black Widow's special ability because with Black Widow, her T4 does still only apply to Avengers, but this is very nice that it actually applies to skill allies. So this would include characters such as Kestrel, um, just because she is classified as skill as well. So in my opinion, this ultimate is 100% worth T4ing. I think it's definitely the best one out of this bunch so far that we've seen. And the fact that she can also work hand in hand with other Avengers as well as skill characters, I think this is going to be really where um, the, a lot of players will get that value for. Last but not least, the Fury's right hand. And for this ability, it's on self or any block, 50% chance to actually heal the most injured ally, especially in raids. Um, this always actually occurs. On top of that, she's also gonna gain 5% resistance for herself, as well as all secret Avenger allies. In raids especially though, uh, the secret Avenger, Avengers as well as herself are gonna get that maximum value for that. Leveling this up, you know, you can see that it's just an, simply an increase to the resistance as well as the uh, for the rest of the secret Avenger allies. So, I mean, really, this is ability just to boost up the team and applying the healing. And you can see here, by T4ing this, they actually get an ex extra boost in 15%. So, this is gonna be back down to that uh, basic and special question, whether or not how often you're gonna utilize um, uh, Maria Hill for, as part of the secret Avengers team. And in my opinion, the more you use her, I think that's where you're gonna get really good value for. She's already gonna be applying a lot of um, heal as well as block for as part of her kit, but um, if you find that you're gonna need that extra sustain, uh, I would consider uh, T4ing this, but not before her special ultimate, which I do believe adds more value. And then as well as her basic, keep in mind that adds deflect. So um, you really gotta ask the question of whether or not you're gonna have enough healers. If you feel like there's not enough healing, then for sure I would consider T4ing this as well. So overall, very strong character. Um, she's gonna provide a lot of sustainability, as you can see, applying deflex, cleansing negative conditions on the team. Um, I like what they're doing with her right now, especially with the new Secret Avengers meta coming into the Doom Raids and really providing um, a much needed niche for that skill meta, especially now that we've got Kestrel added as well. So um, that in all essence is an overview of the character kit, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video as always. Uh, always interesting to see new teams coming into the game for sure. Thank you as always, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.